Let's have a quick look at what should be done this week in the garden. And I think the, the lavender, as you can see, it looks quite colored in a picture, but actually when you go in close, you can see that it's actually, it's had its best. And it's about this time that we cut down and I'll, I'll go down and show you how deep you should go. You need to go down and cut into the foliage, about a couple of inches into the foliage and then never into the brown wood, never into brown wood because it won't regrow. These have actually grown rather high, but we did cut the fronts out of them last year and they come back. You can see there's quite a lot of new growth on the front, but lavenders to get a second flush of flower, which you might achieve if you cut them back now. Roses are growing well at the back here. There's some uh, uh, wild varieties. Uh, and you can see Hydrangea, Annabelle. What a show that is. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. And coming along here, uh, we'll just go to the Peroskia. Again, spikes of lovely purple flowers giving a very good impression. And then if I draw back from this borna, just to remind you that something that mixes very well today in this border is the Gora. The Gora is that lovely pink flower. It wavers in the wind. I think it's quite suitable with grasses behind. And then in the front, we've got Geranium Roseanne. Geranium Roseanne works really well, trails across and even Look, at, look what it's doing in the Gora. It's climbing through the Gora as well, and it will. It'll climb through rose bushes. It'll climb up hydrangeas. I've got another garden that I look at that is where it's right up through the hydrangeas. Roses need a bit of deadheading. You can see what the rain has done to some of the blooms, and uh, they need to be cut off to keep them nice and healthy. Bit of black spot showing up there at the bottom there. Those black spots which turn brown. And then, of course, the leaf will go yellow and fall off. So best to use something like uh, Rose, one of the Rose Clear products that will keep that nice and clear. And in fact, the Rose has also been attacked by Rose Cutter Bee, which we don't worry about because we've got to look after the bees, haven't we? So they are. There's a few things to be getting on with this week. Some reminders on mixtures of plants, lavender to prune, keep those roses deadheaded. Look, I've missed some deadheads there. Let's get on and do it. And just another thing while I'm talking, Napita, down to the right here. I cut those back just two weeks ago and look how that has grown. Next to more lavender, more lavender cut back. Plenty to do in the garden this week.